it's called Ready to Run Wherever. And um, I am training one person because happy quarantine, we're stuck here. Um, so we have to make the best of what's around us. And I'm only going to be training one person in this event um, to help with the social distancing. And it's somebody in my household, it's my brother. So basically, this is a program that is um, designed for um, helping to improve your running for both um, long distance and sprinting. I started implementing um, distance running into, um, or sprinting <laughs> into my distance running um, because I was just kind of dealing with um, constant injury with my distance. Um, I tried to run, um, I used to run like six days a week distance and then I got a really bad plantar fasciitis, which is um, with an injury to the foot. And that um, affected my running and it led to like knee injuries. So I was just getting kind of, it was just turning into this big chronic issue. So um, I had to sadly cut down on some of my distance running. So uh, now I'm only running five times a week and recently to help with this, I decided to switch two of my distance days in for sprint interval days. Um, so far it's been going pretty good. Um, I did have a, um, I, I managed to pull a muscle um, about two weeks ago from what, during one of my sprint sessions and it was still there last week. So hopefully, I, th I don't deal with that this week, but we'll find out when we do my sprint. <laughs> um, so yeah, basically for um, this program, um, my why statements, which are the intended outcomes, is I want um, the participant to feel a mental uplift after doing the exercise. Like they just feel better, uh, more what mentally well-being, and they're just you know physically ready to start the day don't have to do coffee or anything like that because exercise is your coffee. Um, then also I want them to have some sense of tiredness after the exercise. So um, that can be, um, you know, just the, the tiredness and the muscles like, oh my gosh, I cannot do another sprint. Like, <laughs> or, um, you know, after the distance run, um, just like feeling really, um, you know, drenched in sweat and like you actually did some work. So I want them to feel um, somewhat tired that in that they pushed themselves. And then finally, um, one of my goals is I want them to um, take notice and be mindful of surroundings around them um, to basically get their mind off of the day's stress and get help get their mind off of the um, the pain that can come from pushing yourself in exercise. So um, I want them to be able to observe the weather, whether here down in South Florida, it's um, getting kind of hot. It's not unbearable yet, but we're having some hot days. So, you know, if it's a particular hot day, I want them to, you know, recognize that and accept it, you know, taking notice of little things like that. Um, to help get your mind off of running and to focus on, um, you know, just God's beautiful creations around us. Um, and then um, some of my X statements to um, help to reach these Y statements is um, I want to create checkpoints during the run, you know, asking how they are and avoid um, as, as much breaks as we can because I want them to push themselves. So, you know, these checkpoints are meant to assess like, oh, how tired am I really? Oh, I can keep going. Um, so that for sprints, that's probably going to be, we're going to do a sprint and then we're going to walk back and, you know, we're, we're going to try to not stop. Uh, but if there's going to be checkpoints, you know, if you're feeling like, for instance, last week when I felt my pulled muscles suddenly start to give way, I knew I had to stretch it out right then and there. So, you know, checkpoints like that, like, oh, do you have to stretch now um, that are critical? Um, with distance, it's going to be a little easier to um, do this um, because um, my brother, who I'll be um, training with in this program, 
Uh, he's relatively well fit, so we have been running four miles in the morning um, consistently for quite some time, so I don't think we're going to have any trouble um, with checkpoints and stopping. Um, also, um, to help with the scenery and observation, I want to take a different route. Then also um, to help to break away from um, like the monotony of exercise, um, we are going to alternate between um, distance, sprint, distance, sprint, distance. So five times a week, two sprint days. The last two weeks since I was injured, I only did one sprint day, so we'll see how we do. Um, so during this, I'll show you a brief um, clips, uh, a brief clip on a distance day and a sprint day. It'll be um, Tuesday, so today's Monday. Tuesday's our usual day for um, starting, and I'll do that and. Um, also, um, then the sprint day will be on Wednesday. Um, and then finally, um, I just want to um, provide motivation constantly by running right next to the participant, um, you know, sharing emotions, um, motivating each other. So that's just one of my final X statements. So we'll see how this goes. I'll film a few clips and then I will give the assessment afterwards. Um, so stay tuned. Oh, and this is um, my staged project form. So as you can see, the um, right here is um, we're encompassing how to warm up properly. This is going to be particularly useful for sprints. Now this is going to be Tuesday or a long distance run. So as you can see I put my Y statements in there and the X statements as we discussed. Um, between this warm up and um, into the frame 2, the long distance run, it's going to be a hard on cue. So um, you begin the run right after the warm up. There's not really any time to mingle or get drinks. Um, so then the next day after the long distance run, we'll be transferring into sprints. So that will be Wednesdays. That's also a hard cue because you're not used to sprinting after you did the distance. So in here again, we will come back. There's gonna be a warm up and we'll see how that goes and warm up is very critical for sprinting. Um, we do form drills um, and a lot of dynamic stretching before we even start the first sprint. And here are the sprints. Um, the exercise is we do 10 sprints and we do a warm up and a cool down as well as dynamic stretching. So this is my design form here. We'll see how it goes. All right, guys, so it's first thing in the morning and we're starting our um, distance run of four miles. Um, so what do you think of the weather right now? Is it like humid or? Um, it's a little humid, but it's not too bad. And like, do you notice like the nice breeze? Yeah. Yeah, so we're just gonna enjoy the scenery. I'm gonna take him on a different route and then I'm going to interview him afterwards. Okay, hey guys, so we're at checkpoint, um, which really isn't checkpoint because we're not literally um, stopping. <laughs> but, um, so what did you observe so far on the scenery? Um, we got some sidewalk chalk drawings. Um, there's some cute dogs on our run. A dog that tried to like eat my ankles, but... <laughs> Um, we also saw some construction, so we had a little diverge. Um, so we're gonna have to basically go on a different street. But how are you feeling? Good. Yeah, I feel like a little tired, but it's like the good kind of tired. That's what we want. How, um, on a scale of like weather-wise, is it like hot for you? Um, it's probably like, like a, maybe like a seven out of 10. It's like a little hot, but like, 
the sun isn't out, so it's not as hot as it could be. Yeah, it could definitely be worse. <laughs> yeah, it's a little humid, but we're dealing with it. Talk to you guys after. That's how we did. So, um, how did you, yeah, how do you feel now? Uh, I'm more tired, but um, yeah, I definitely feel like, um, you know, it was good to release like some of that energy, especially before the day started.